Hi guys and welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You join me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video is all going to be about where your weight should be at your setup and how that starts to affect your swing plane. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned, today's video is all going to be about where your weight should be or your pressure should be at your setup to actually help us swing on the correct path. So we're talking about the swing plane, but how that is affected by where your pressure is, heels, toes, and left to right. And what I'm going to be using is some balance cushions, but I'm going to show you without the use of these, how you could get into a very similar setup position. Now you can pick a pair of these up pretty cheaply. You'll see them in gyms and things as well. These are from Izzo Golf that I've had for years, uh, but you would just find them anywhere, any sports shop or Amazon, or of course, uh, relatively cheap, and they're just air cushions, but they make balancing very, very tough. Now, if I get a player who is too much into their heels, so talking about heels, toes, first of all, if I get someone too much into their heels, it tends to pull the club around their body. And when the club gets pulled too far around the body, we tend to see the club face opening too much. Uh, alternatively, if I get someone out into their toes too much, we quite often see the lead arms separate out away from their body. So the swing plane seems to follow the center of pressure. So if your pressure is moving out into your toes, the club tends to work that way. If your pressure is moving more into the heel, the club tends to work that way. And every action has an equal opposite reaction. So often we see the opposite movement on the downswing as a compensation. So I'd say a very common amateur fault is players with a quite a flat rounded first movement, the club face getting very open, the pressure moving way back into the heels. And on the downswing, we see a change in direction where the pressure tends to move out to the toes. And that gives us this sort of figure of eight swing path. If I map it slowly into my heels, well, we can see the change of direction is actually applying that pressure out to my toes on the downswing. Now, what do we want to see? Ideally, just thinking about heels toe at the minute, ideally 50-50. So we want our weight, our balance, very much in the center. So we don't want to be too much toes, we don't want to be too much heels. We want to be somewhere in the center. And that's what these air cushions will help me find. Uh, I'll talk about left-right balance in a second, but that is actually uh, depending on the club that we're using. So let's just think about heel-toe for a second. It's extremely difficult on these. It's worth having a ball maybe down as a focus and potentially just starting with the club across your shoulders. But you'll suddenly know, you'll de well, definitely know about it if your pressure goes into your toes, you can see I'd have to take a step forwards and lose my balance or too much into my heels. It works a lot on ankle strength here, so it's very, very good for us, but we should be able to set up and be very, very even in golf posture. So you might want to find even standing bolt upright first, and then an even pressure shift when we're into golf posture here. And we should even be able to make a backswing movement going a little bit further on, where we're applying our pressure towards our trail foot on the backswing, but we still want to even. So uh, if you looked at a lot of long drive guys and have talked about this before, you'd see them move more into their trail heel on the backswing and then into their lead toe. So we'd see a shift of pressure going this way, almost out to the right of the target for me as a right-handed golfer. And although that can be powerful, it's not normally the most consistent pressure shift in terms of hitting straighter shots, hitting more fairways and greens. So ideally we want to feel the pressure into our, for me, right side, my trail foot, but very even through the foot. As we start our downswing, we want our pressure to move gradually towards our lead leg, but again through the middle of the foot. As we turn into impact because our body opening, I'd want it to be more into our lead heel. So if I was doing it on these balance cushions, on these wobble cushions here, I would actually want to release pressure from my toe. I would use these more as a setup, but there's, you know, you definitely can work on the backswing movement. This is really tough. The downswing movement, shifting the pressure towards my lead side, still quite even at that point and then into my lead heel where my toe is actually more up in the air and the pressure is more into that lead heel. So you can definitely work on the swing. Now I mentioned I, I would talk a little bit about 
left-right balance, a lead foot, a trail foot. What I like to see from mid-iron that I've got here, a seven iron, is slightly favoring my lead leg. I'd want to be about 60-40 favoring my lead side at setup, but it does change depending on the club. So with a driver in my hand, moving the ball more up forwards, tilting a little bit more behind it, I'd actually want it to be more like 60% starting favoring my trail foot. So 60 lead leg with a mid-iron, 60 back foot trail foot with a driver so you'd expect if I got into something like a hybrid or a long iron that my pressure might be a little bit more even closer to 50 50. But on all these shots whether we're talking about wedge all the way through to a driver we want our pressure to be very even heel toe. So we want to get that 50 50 balance which is what this video is really about. So these balance cushions work perfectly for that. Uh, very hard to hit shots that way because of course I'm higher than the ground level and I'm not going to be able to generate any real speed but just doing some slow back swing movements with a club across your shoulders or ooh, a little bit into toes or just getting into your setup position, feeling that is great. Now, without those cushions, as soon as you take them away, you seem to get a much better feeling. You feel very light with your legs, but you get a much better sensation of where your pressure is. What I'd encourage you to do in your setup, just before you start the swing, is actually rock back, heels, toes, heels, toes. Try and find that even biting point. So try and find that middle ground. You could even, and I have done this before, lay something down like a broomstick size on the ground through the middle, the arch of the shoes. And again, similar to the balance cushions, try and feel that even pressure where you're working backwards from heels to toes, heels to toes. But if I just get myself in my setup position here, and before I start the swing, just sort of rock back, heels, toes, try and find that middle balance point, which feels about there, very well balanced for me, and then go ahead and pull the trigger. Finished very well balanced, more into my lead heel, which is exactly what I wanted to see, but it will really help your swing plane, your swing path, if you get a better start position, if your pressure is more even uh, rather than favoring into the heels or into the toes, remembering that we want to be very much 50-50. As I said, our pressure should, if you want to work on the whole swing, move to the middle of the trail foot on the back swing, the middle of the lead leg as we start down swing. So we should feel it into our lead side, but through the middle of the shoe, and then more into that lead heel by the time we get into impact. That would be our most consistent pressure shift that really starts to give us a great swing part to control your iron and wood play a lot better. I hope that video has helped. If you do get a chance to try out some wobble cushions, some balance cushions, great. If not, maybe just a cane underneath your feet. And I would encourage you to take to the golf course that feeling of a setup of sort of wobble backwards and forwards, heels to toes, find that even position before you pull the trigger. It's definitely going to help you if you struggle with your balance in your swing. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you hit us with a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel as well for all the other content, at least two instructional videos a week. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.